Hello everybody, Max and Brian here, coming to you from the concrete jungle of New York City where we are here for Comic-Con and we get a chance to check out Predator Hunting Grounds, the brand new asymmetrical shooter from Ilphonic that's coming to PS4 sometime next year. It's a shooter for the humans, but for the Predator, it's a Predator game. You got a chance to play as the Predator. How was that? Uh, it was awesome, honestly. The Predator like plays and controls in this game very uniquely than you would ever expect from something like a regular first-person shooter, because his stuff's almost entirely in third person. Uh, and the cool thing about that is that you spend a lot of time sort of hopping around the trees. That took me a little bit to get used to, because I think instead of just making this guy ridiculously OP, they actually give you a bunch of different systems to juggle and a bunch of sort of like weapons and coolings and stuff like that and levers and tweaks to manage. All all these little things and so basically you are watching a firefight happen in the distance and by watching the heat signature that pops up around that uh, which is sort of just like a Call of Duty match happening on the ground you get to leap from the sky and start slashing throats but I found that like the longer I spent on the ground the more I was sort of vulnerable I like at one point tried to go all predator and like kill a bunch of dudes with melee like basically just go all God of War uh, that doesn't work you also get stuck in like little buildings and stuff you don't want to be like cornered as the predator so your tactical advantage is to basically repeatedly get back up into the trees, pop on your clo cloaking, pop on your heat signature, pull out your rocket launchers and your like your cool laser beams and all the fun toys, and uh, try to kill as many of these guys as you can, which is a great time. The cool thing is, this is a fairly straightforward four-player kind of co-op thing. There's a lot of PvE, which makes perfect sense in the realm of Predator, because if you watch that movie, that starts out as a standard military shooter for a bunch of tough guys, and then an alien shows up and crashes it. So the game kind of plays the same way, where basically you're, you're doing this objective that's kind of your typical like tactical military thing where you've got to like hack some servers and blow up a thing and then you know do the comm link access stuff so it's little little objectives where you're uh, you and your team are kind of coordinating it and there's bad guys shooting at you and you're shooting the bad guys but then once you shoot them too much the f predator shows up and he starts shooting you with lasers and all sorts of nonsense and then you've got to deal with him and the bad guys at the same time which has like a really wonderful uh properly asymmetrical dynamic to it yep. so and it, it's kind of cool that like the predator i feel like is kind of overwhelming to jump into. It was like there were a lot of systems at play, whereas on our side, it's it's fairly familiar. It's a it's a conventional first-person shooter. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that that's what sort of makes this game really special and really interesting. And went from being it's uh, something I was like sort of like whatever about to something I'm completely into. Um, the Predator kicks ass. Like it's a brand new design that they designed for this. The Predator like pretty much everywhere kicks ass. But the Predator in this game is really cool looking. Um, I loved like the the textures on him. He's got this just gross, wet, scaly skin. Um, he makes nasty clicking noises as he you know, runs around in the branches and stuff like that. So I. I didn't actually get a chance to look at the Predator because he's freaking invisible yeah. and you're up in the trees jumping around. But what's really cool is that they incorporated one mechanic uh, from the original 1987 movie, which is when you c turn yourself into a big old muddy buddy and you get down to the puddles and you cover yourself with mud, which makes uh, it makes you invisible to the Predator's thermal vision. Uh, I think you can still probably, could you still see me when I was down there? Uh, I could, but not from like heat signature stuff. That stuff becomes like drastically reduced. So there's a lot of tactical stuff that happens there, which is cool because it's like also a very violent, visceral game, but you have to kind of think quick. And, and be quick on your feet. Uh, we saw two matches end, and mine ended with me accidentally self-destructing my Predator, which creates essentially this massive radius which will take everybody, suicide everybody down with you. Another way we saw was that the Predator actually went up to like one of the last remaining soldiers and dug into his body and ripped out his spine and yes. tore it into the air, and there's just like, yes. there's just, just like blood shooting all over it, and it rules. So I was uh, I was in that match. We actually we kicked your ass. Yeah. We beat we beat the crap out of you as the predator. And I got this sort of like you know little new objective pop up where it's like the predator is down. Go go rip off his like bio mask and shoot him in the head. And I was like, yeah, all right, I'll do that. And I started running towards it. And that's when you triggered the detonation thing. Yep. And everyone around me was like, no 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 no, run away. And I looked at my mini map and there's just this big circle radius which almost has this like almost like a battle royale type of thing where you're like, oh you got to get out of that area, get the hell out. There are enough moving parts here, uh, and it's it, it feels right for a video game. And really when you look at the original. Predator movie, it's been so hugely influential on, on gaming. All the yeah. get to the chopper, all the miniguns, all that nonsense. Yeah, I mean, if you look at Contra, like, they ripped off pretty much every everything about Predator and put it in a video game. Yeah. Alien 2. Exactly, and I mean, we've had Predator games here and there, uh, but this one seems like it's it's got a pretty cool idea behind it. You you still get to be a tough guy, badass, Navy SEAL commando dude running around the jungle and shooting stuff. There just happens to be a Predator present there as well, which yeah. it just feels like a really kind of a good, a good formula for a game. The Predator is coming to PS4 sometime in 2020, it sounds like Ilphonic and company are really good about kind of getting this game out there and getting it in people's hands. Uh, it's here at Comic-Con. Uh, I don't know how many shows we have between now and when it comes out, but if you see it at a show, try to jump on there and check it out. Uh, it's it's kind of cool to see it like out in the wild, much like the Predator himself. Uh, but anyway, if you want to learn more about the Predator, check out all of our great articles about the Predator on IGN.com, your number one website for stuff about the Predator.